Congratulations, Philadelphia Fusion. We'll take about 15 minutes of questions. Uh, hey, Tyler from ESPN. Uh, this is for Carpe and Cuba. Uh, next week, you guys will be playing against uh, New York Excelsior. Obviously, you're going in as underdogs with New York being the best team throughout most of the season. Uh, what are your thoughts about going against the team and having the – do you have a lot of confidence? Uh, and do you feel like you have nothing to lose because people are already saying New York should be playing in New York, they're going to the finals? 네, 일단 두 선수분한테 질문을 할게요. 그, 일단 다음 주에부터 이제 뉴욕이랑 상대를 할, 하실 텐데, 어, 들어가시면서 생각과, 그리고 이제 뭐, 많은 사람들이 이제 뉴욕이 원래 좀 이제 지금 제일 잘하는 팀으로서, 어, 그 팀을 상대하는 거에 대해서 좀 어느 정도 좀 이렇게 압박감을 느끼시는지, 아니면 그런 거에 대해서 좀, 어, 생각이나, 어, 각오에 대해서 좀한 말씀 해주세요. 어, 뉴욕이랑 하는 거는 오늘보다 더 어렵겠지만 그래도 시, 스테이지 일때 했던 것처럼 할수 있다고 생각하고 네, 그거에 대해서 많이 준비해 오면 괜찮을 것 같다는 생각이에요. Um, I definitely feel like uh, facing New York is not going to be an easy fight, but uh, just thinking about like stage one, if we just prepare and just, uh, just practice like how we did, uh, I feel like we'll be okay. I think this meta fits us a lot, and if we keep practicing hard, and, uh, like we did on stage two, then we're gonna be able to beat New York. It mostly depends how hard you know we want to win, and we're not afraid of New York or anything related to that. Hey guys, Adam from Action Esports. Um, so after kind of a, a rough first set um, against Boston, uh, you guys bounced back really, really hard in Eichenwald, and we saw some awesome strats and, and some really tight play from you guys. Uh, is that something that you specifically pre uh, prepared for on Eichenwald? Is it something that kind of happened in the moment? And how did you guys get into the mindset to, to bounce back like that? So this strat on Eichenwald, uh, last time we faced Boston, they played this. Uh, Lucio Mercy dive against us, and so we realized that the comp we're running is not, you know, up to par to dealing with that comp. So we decided to make some slight changes. We haven't practiced it before. It was just mostly, you know, in the moment comp uh, or attack comp too. We just felt that if we want to win and you know want to win hard, then we need a comp that has like a good snowball potential. So that's why we picked the triple triple, which we also didn't practice on that map and. It ended up working good, so. Hi, my name's Nick uh, from Inven. This is actually a question for you, uh, I'm Neptuno. Uh, you had a really awesome play uh, as Mercy, and uh, on social media, a lot of fans were clamoring over your uh, a battle Mercy moment when I believe you got uh, six killing blows. Uh, can you kind of talk about um, what was going on through your head, or maybe explain some of your uh, mindset when you were uh, I'm in that moment. I think, like, when I'm using my bike or, like, when I'm healing people or whatever, like, I try to position myself in a position where I cannot get punished, but I can also, like, make, like, have two options, like, finish a kill or, like, keep healing my teammates. So it's like I play out of line of sight of the enemy with most of the times or, like, whoever can kill me. And if I see they don't realize I'm close to them, then I take the pistol and finish the target or if someone is slow. And sometimes I just feel that I can finish a target that no one else can finish, and then I just take the... I don't think the risk, because I've been doing this for so long, so I think I, I, think I know how to do it. Right? Hi, Tatiana from Yo Say Today. Um, this is actually a question for Poco, Sato, and Hoppa. Um, in an interview, I believe, with you, Neptuno, you know, you talked about how it would always either be Fraggy and Poco or Hoppa and Sato and that, you know, the tanks would never be, you know, kind of swapped out. But here in the playoffs, we saw that happen. We saw success from it. What, you know, went behind that strategy of changing, switching the tanks? 원래 이 팀에서 좀 탱크진을 잘 바꾸지 않는 그런 작전을 많이 썼던, 썼었는데 이번에 플레이오프를 들어오면서 그게 많이 바뀐 것 같아요. 어, 그거에 대해서 좀 설명을 좀 부탁드립니다. I don't know. It's like a coaching decision, I guess. Just On some map, we tried Sado and me, and it was working well. So we were like, okay, let's do that. And some maps we did out by Sado, and they're working well. So yeah, it's a coaching decision. Was that something that started like in the scrims preparing for playoffs specifically? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We uh, 
yes, maybe I can address that a bit. Um, in the stage two and three, when Sato was not available to play, uh, during that entire time, obviously, he was practicing on our second squad and playing with Hot Bus, so it made sense for us to keep you know, those tank duos separate. Uh, going into stage four, uh, we didn't have that much time in between stages to really make the big swap, so we just pretty much played the entirety of the stage four with uh, that duo. And here, when we went into playoff preparations, it made more sense and we had more time to like really look into the swaps, and that's why we implemented uh, having the, our two off-tank players play with uh, Sato. And will that continue? <coughs> to the, I'm sorry, through the next round, do you think? Yes. Can I say something? I think also like Sado learned more, like a lot of English during stage four, so it was easier now to play them with Poco. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, this is Chris from the Omnic Post. Um, this one's for all of you. Which player in Boston was a huge problem problem for you guys, and what did you guys do to shut them down? 어 이번에 버스턴 보스턴이랑 같이 경기를 하면서 제일 상대하기 힘들었던 선수 그리고 그거를 어그 힘든 거를 어떻게 이겨, 이겨내실 수 있었는지. I think a striker from Boston was a huge problem. He would flank a lot as widow and he had a, a lot of killing potential. So uh, at first, you know, we didn't pay that much attention to it, but as soon as we started losing, then we had to deal with it and we made some few rules that we always need to call his flanks and remind people or he is, and that helped us, you know, going into the next matches and the next series. Uh, we have a question from Twitch. Phoenix Firefly asks, first, congratulations. Uh, what advice would you give to those who want to go on the path to pro? Pro가 될수 있는 좋은 꿀팁 하나만 부탁드릴게요. Competitive play, you have to be on top. Never flame others. Never blame others. Blame yourself. Like me. Uh huh. Uh, ESPN again. This is for Hotba. Uh, social media was kind of a blaze when you started playing Tracer. Uh, so, um, how was it being to be, you know, play DPS on the main stage, and how would you rate your Tracer play, you know, against your DPS teammates on the, you know, EQ and carpet. 네, 하빠 선수 이번에 지금 트레이서로서 트레이서를 이제 사용하면서 좀그 소셜 미디어 이런 쪽 트위터 이런 쪽에서 좀 굉장히 많은 어좀 얘기가 많이 나온 것 같아요. 지금 자기 자신 오늘 플레이에 대해서 좀 설명을 해주시고 여기도 원래 팀에 있는 딜러들과 자기 자신을 좀 비교를 했을 때어 얼마나 잘했던지 뭐 그런 거에 대해 좀 얘기를 좀 해주세요. 어 우선 오늘 트레이서를 못해서 정말 아쉽고요. 딜러 uh, first of all, I just want to say I don't think I did that great as a tracer today. 제가 딜, 저희 딜러들만큼 하는 것 같아요. But I do feel like I am up to par with all the DPS players on my team. Um, we have another question from Twitch. Uh, Two Right asks, how do you all feel about the matches to come? GG's, by the way. 일단 홍 선수들 네, 지지고요. 그리고 앞으로 이제 남은 경기들에 대해서 어, 소감 한 말씀 부탁드릴게요. Um, obviously, New York are a really strong team. Uh, they were in every single stage finals. They won two of them, so we're not, you know, uh, gonna overlook them. Obviously, you can't quite simply, but we're confident going in, and uh, the meta is good for us. So we're just gonna keep working and try to, you know, bring something a bit special in that match. Hey guys, Adam from Action Esports again. Um, so what was it like having to uh, premiere the new reworked Hanzo in a setting with such high stakes? 이렇게 좀 많은 것이 걸려 있는 데서 또 이제 또 새로운 한조 패치가 되면서 그걸 많이 좀 쓰셨는데 어, 그거에 대한 소감 한 말씀 부탁드릴게요. We had a lot of time to practice the new Hanzo, so I don't think it was that much that much of a big deal. We were used to all the you know the new components. Uh, he can build ult much faster. His storm arrow is very effective. At the start, we had to adapt, and we would get uh, punished a lot. 
by underestimating, but slowly we became to, you know, fully understand the potential of Hanzo and we adapted it into our play style, which helped us a lot versus Boston. All right, we got another one from Twitch. Um, Lumpy Milk asks, which countries look the strongest for the Overwatch World Cup? Overwatch World Cup is the strongest country. There's this country called Korea that's pretty good at this game. <laughs> North or South? Spain. South Korea. Uh, Team UK is the best country and will win everything. <laughs> It'll be easy. Like football? <laughs> Saro, do you have anything to say? Of course, by far, South Korea. Uh, yeah, so this is an um, open question for everyone. Uh, who hasn't been to uh, a New York yet, and are you looking forward to the trip in any way other than just the competition? 여기서 일단 첫 번째 질문은 뉴욕을 안 가보신 분이 누가 있고 그리고 또 이게 뭐 경기 때문이 아니더라도 좀 가서 좀뭘 하고 싶은지 아니면 좀 그런 거에 대해서 좀 기대가 되시는지 뉴욕에 가는 것에 대해서 가게 된다면 I've been in Europe. <laughs> We're gonna have fun in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Period. How? It's a fun place, right? This might tie into New York a little bit. Um, we have another question from Twitch, and uh, D Lee one eighty eight asks, "What is everyone's favorite snack? And maybe you'll eat it in New York." 어 이번 질문은 좀 뉴욕과 관할 수도 있고 안갈 수도 있는데 제일 좋아하는 스낵 그러니까 뭐 군것질 제일 좋아하는 거 그럼 이번에 뭐 좀뭐 말을 하면은 뉴욕 가서 드실 수도 있을 테니까 제일 좋아하는 군것질이 뭔지 여쭤보네요. Uh, ruffles. If that's a snack. <laughs> Pringles. Pringles? Yeah, Pringles is good. <laughs> Sour Patch, maybe? There you go. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh my God. Yes. <laughs> okay, congratulations, Philadelphia. We'll see you next round.